Hey guys, welcome to another video and uh, in this video we are going to learn about using LWC components inside Omniscripts. So uh, first question first is why do we need the LWC components inside the Omniscript? And the simple answer is because we want to do something in the Omniscript which is not possible out of the box. Right? So for example, let's say, uh, let's say we want to change the look and feel of a text box or we want to change the behavior of a you know checkbox right or uh, maybe you know we want to have some uh, custom validation on the elements and we cannot do it uh, using simple omniscript right or uh, maybe we want to create our own elements own reusable components or uh, own reusable elements which we can use uh, you know across the omniscripts right so <clears throat> these are the few examples where uh, we will be needing the LWC components uh, inside Omniscripts. Okay, now let's see what are the different ways in which we can use the LWC components inside Omniscripts. So the first way is we want to we can extend the Omniscript elements <coughs> LWC. So what happens is whatever the elements you use inside the Omniscripts, be it uh, you know text box, be it uh, check box be it any action even you know even a step or the step chart everything right so everything is made up of lwc components so those are called you know elements base lwc components right so what we can do is we can extend those lwc component and we can extend the functionality of a particular element or all the elements of same type so for example <clears throat> you know we can create an lwc component and we can extend the functionality of a text box using this now it's our wish if we want to use this lwc component uh, to extend the functionality of a single text box or all the text boxes in the online script right so it totally depends on us the second way we can use is uh, <clears throat> you know we can extend the uh, omni script based mixing so what does it do is basically uh, it provides you some methods or the some properties which can be used to uh, you know <clears throat> which can be used to extend the functionality of Omniscript itself instead uh, instead of a particular element. Okay, so <clears throat> for example, let's say you want to create a new element, uh, you know, new type of element, and uh, which should be interacting with the LWC, sorry, which should be interacting with the Omniscript means it should be getting the uh, you know data from the omniscript data json and it should be updating the data inside the own script data json okay so if you want uh, this type of functionality what you can do is you can extend the omniscript based mixing <coughs> component and uh, the third way is uh, create a standalone lwc component okay so the standalone component is basically uh, let's say you already have an lwc component which uh, you are using anywhere, maybe outside of uh, Omniscript. It's not necessary that you will be using that component only on the Omniscript. It can be inside the Lightning app or as a, uh, you know, on a community page or anywhere, right? And you want to use the same component on the on the Omniscript also, right? Then you can mark it as a standalone LWC component. <coughs> the only problem with standalone LWC component is basically it cannot interact with the Omniscript or Omniscript's uh, JSON, right? So basically, it cannot get the data from Omniscript JSON and uh, it cannot, of course, manipulate the Omniscript JSON, right? So generally, we use the standalone LWC components, uh, you know, uh, when, you know, we need to display some data, right? So what we can do is, uh, uh, let's say we want to get the uh, uh, let's say we want to get the get all the contacts of an account and uh, we just want to display it on the screen right so what we can do is we can create a standalone lwc component we can pass the id of account to that and then we can query all the content contacts of uh, that account and we can display it in a table or uh, you know anyhow on the lwc component and then we can drop that lwc component on the omni script okay so uh, in our next uh, three videos I'm going to you know explain all these three ways in you know much more detail and of course uh, uh, you know we are going to create the create the LWC components and uh, we are going to use them in the only scripts okay so stay tuned and uh, you know just wait for the next videos thank you